welcome to our Costco day. We're gonna take you to Costco with us just because it's gonna be fun. I left the stupid list at home. I'll ask Abby. She added a few things. We've had a crazy morning already. He doesn't feel good. We've had a cold kind of raging through the house one at a time um, and it's finally caught up to him. Chelsea had it, Ashley had it, Abby had it, Kaylee had it. They all kind of are on the tail end of it so now he's started Please don't let me get this cold. I don't need it. I already have like the watery eyes and mild allergy symptoms. It's very I mild. Just go home. You want to just go home? I probably should. Cause I have to work. Like. And not go to Costco? Yeah. You decide. Oh, he's not going to Costco with me. He just turned around. I just feel like I got to go to work the rest of the week. And no. I I was like, I was wondering. I, uh, I know, I was well, like, stayed home from skiing and everything just to do this and then I started feeling like crap, but. I'm sorry, yeah, you gotta go speed limit. I need to like, get better. But anyway, so it looks like I'm going to Costco alone, but you, is this all the, the money for the bank? Yes, I have it broken out in two different amounts. All right, if you haven't watched our Hawaii on a budget video, that video is up today, current time. I'm enjoying commenting with you guys and you know, almost everyone across the board came to our channel that's commenting at least from Hawaii videos, which I think is fantastic. So maybe we'll get more people with the next set of Hawaii videos, which is, again, fantastic. But we are paying our credit card bills that we talked about, our Hawaiian credit card bills and our um, Costco credit card bill. That's what I'm going to do today is putting the cash in and paying those credit card bills. So. If you haven't watched that video out yet, go ahead and watch it. And if you don't go to Hawaii, haven't ever been, and you think it's like unattainable, go watch that video because it totally is. It just might take some extra time and prep to save up for it, but it's totally possible. So I guess we're gonna drop him back off at home. I will get the Costco list now, and I will go to Costco alone. Sorry, love, I like going to Costco. I know, you. I do too. Guess he's not getting s'mores. <laughs> I'll get him a treat. Let's go drop this boy back off at home. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just want to say. I am currently Marco Poloing with my sister sitting out in front of uh, Costco right now. Just chatting with her. Everyone say hi to my sister Andy. Maybe I'll end with you Andy and show them you really quick. This is Andy. <laughs> you don't need to hear what she's saying. <laughs> she's just walking around her yard telling me about her trip to Mexico and how her ears are blown from doing scuba diving. She's like I can't hear my kids. So anyway say hi to Andy. Also, I haven't really shared the news here, but my sister Andy, the one you just were seeing, just got engaged in Mexico with her boyfriend, now fiance. I'm so excited for them to get married. So, 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 so excited. We got to spend a little bit of extra time with him last summer and his girls. He has two girls and my sister has five. So now they're like a little Brady Bunch family of seven. Some like family of nine, which is insane. They're getting married right at, as summer starts. Our kids have to miss school because they're on a different schedule than us. So we get to go to a wedding this summer and then we'll go back again for a vacation. So I don't think I've mentioned that, that they got engaged and she's super, super happy and had a fun story. Maybe when I'm with her, sometimes she can share with you or let me know if it's okay for me to share the story of how she got engaged. Spot on. Josh, if you watch our videos, spot on with how you proposed. I gave him such a hard time before he proposed because he was stalling and he said he wasn't going to propose in Mexico and then he did. So he, it was so epic, so unique and so my sister, it was everything she needed it to be. So I just thought I would share that with you. It was fun news to get from my sister today. Not today. We got the news like a week and a half ago when they were in Mexico. So just wanted to share that with you because we get to go to a wedding and that's going to be really fun.
Look who came to help me unload. Thank you. Yeah, I'm getting cold. Let's do this quick. Okay. So we only added a few different things today. Abby has a really sore mouth. We're taking to her to an emergency dentist appointment tomorrow. So she begged for some something soft to eat. And we're going through blueberries in like two days. Look how big those are. Mm -hmm. So I got two packages today. And then granola bars, that's normal, bread. I haven't actually had to buy bread for a long time because Ashley stopped eating peanut butter sandwiches. So, <laughs> and that's probably when she stopped getting fiber, which I'll just say that, and apples. So apples and banana, apples and bread, bananas, milk, raspberries. We're gonna add um, some more smoothies. We've gone through the rest of the mango and pineapple frozen fruit that we had in the freezer. And Ashley did like that. I did get some apple sauce pouches. She actually wanted some peach ones as well, like peach chunks in little the little container. They just did not have any. And then this is the one thing that's a little bit different this time. We also got some graham crackers down there. Um, I got some of these little biscuits. This one has 10% of her fiber intake and this one has 7% of her fiber. So I think between that and some fruits, some berries, that kind of stuff, we can get a lot of fiber in her and help her with her bowels. So, and then we got breakfast drinks, Coke, and vitamin waters. I think that's it. I don't think anything else is hidden in there. Okay, now that I'm done with Costco, I might actually start editing today's video, but I also need to wrap presents. I brought stuff down thinking the girls were gonna be gone, and then they weren't. And so I've gotta start wrapping this kind of stuff up before they come home from school today. Let's see here. The problem is I needed to find some other boxes. Let's see what's in here. That's travel stuff, and this is, I think this is all Ashley right here. <laughs> I always divide it up per kid and kind of like separate it out and then I start wrapping each one. This is a group gift for all of them. I'm not sure when we're going to give that to them. And then I think this is Kaylee so far. Kaylee, Kaylee. Anyway, so I'm going to start and do this. Let's get this done. Okay, I'll give you a little progress update. I've got these two done up. There's a lot in each of these bags. <laughs> if you can imagine Ashley, she likes little trinkets. If you can imagine, they're all a dollar or less. So there's a lot of trinkets in here, and then there's a lot of other things in here for her. Again, these are Kaylee's, Kaylee's group. Haven't done anything with Chelsea's in there. I'm starting on Ashley's to wrap wrap. I brought in all those little boxes to help me wrap stuff in. Oop, there's a little sneak peek on the counter right there. There's also two packages right here that I'm going to wrap up in the white wrapping paper. We have white and the blue as a little hint for Ashley's theme. Um, and then I've got the rest of her little birthday supplies in this box right here. I've got her white balloons and a rainbow and a nine. It's not what you're thinking. I know you're thinking like, oh, you're gonna go with the Hawaii theme. Mm -mm, we're not. I'm just gonna keep on wrapping up the boxes now in the white wrapping paper and then I'm done with Ashley. Also, I'm watching, what is it called? It's on Amazon, Red Rock. Total European, British, total British crime. Love it. wrapping up everything that I could. Chelsea is only getting a few things ahead of time before her birthday. Hers were the green ones. And Ashley's are all the white ones. And Kaylee's are all the brown, like, butcher paper ones. So, I'm all done wrapping everything. Like, I need to go and get some bows and ribbons, something to kind of jazz them up just a little bit. And I don't have anything like that. I don't I don't usually do that kind of stuff, but these ones kind of need to have a little bit of zhuzhing, if you know what I mean. But I wasn't gonna go today. I have a really busy day tomorrow, but I also have some like a ton. I mean, we're gonna be in the car from like literally 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. Like no joke. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth, all day long. And I was gonna use like a dead time in between running errands tomorrow to go to the dollar store to get these little ribbons and bows and stuff. 
But Kaylee just texted me and she's like, hey mom, have you gone to the dollar store to get me some poster board and letters because she needs to ask Jacob to Hoka, which is girl's choice. I guess they used to call it Sadie Hawkins. Anyway, I don't know. There's like a meaning behind it, but I don't know what it is. Uh, it's a very casual dance and I think they're dressing up as villains and something else. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to have Kaylee tell me what Jacob is dressing up as. She hasn't decided what she's gonna dress up as. Sorry, my my little flip screen goes upside down but every once in a while. So she needs to ask him officially to go to the dance and she has this whole idea of what she's doing and needs to have some poster board. She's gonna, well, I'm not gonna say because I don't know if she's gonna do it before this video is out. I'm a little behind on videos. So, I have to go and meet her at the dollar store. She's gonna walk down there from school after it gets out and we're gonna pick out a few things and then we'll head back home. But I actually need to text Abby and tell her we're gonna go there so she can walk over with Kaylee because I know she hates riding the bus. So, I'm gonna go do that really quick. Also, Jason's asleep. He's been asleep most of this afternoon. He needs to rest today. I'm not even gonna complain about it because he has to work the rest of the week. That there's no time or ability to take a day off. Like he can't at all. So he needs to rest up as much as he can today. So anyway, that's what we're gonna go do. I hope he gets feeling better. All right, so I'm waiting for Kaylee and Abby to get down here. I found a beach ball. I'm gonna see if they think I should get this. I don't know. I also got some clay for Chelsea for her birthday. She's really into art these days and like all the different kinds of mediums. And she's been using leftover clay from Kaylee's art class to like make, make little creatures like this. So I'm gonna give that to her for her birthday. And I got some glue for the project that Kaylee is gonna work on. And I'm just kind of like hanging on to letters that I've seen that she could use for her poster board. There's actually bigger ones over there. So I'm gonna wait and see what she thinks. All right, had to come to another aisle because people were over there. <laughs> Also, Chelsea has been wanting to paint on canvases, but she just does it so often that I don't want to spend full price for them. So I found this little three pack and I got two of those. And then I also got like a larger one, a little five by seven. Uh, oh, it's an eight by 10 actually. Super cheap though. And she can paint over them if she wants to, or she can just leave it as like a one time and done. And I got some more bags. And then I've got a whole bunch of bows in like all the different colors that I need. I also found a little lip gloss for myself. Cause while I love chapstick, when I'm in Hawaii, I do tend to like to have my lips kind of shiny when I go out like for dinner and stuff, but I don't like lipstick. All right, <laughs> Jason was, I was wrapping more presents after we got home. Or do you want me to try? Anyway, so I was busy finishing up the wrapping. Kaylee's upstairs getting her little poster board put together. And he comes over to my computer to kind of chat with me and stuff. And he's like, Come on the car, let's go. I'm getting in the car, babe. He's like, hey, what is this Verizon appointment you have here? And I was like, oh crap, I forgot I made that. I made the appointment last Friday for today. We need to go and get a hot spot for our trip. Anyway, we need a hot spot. There's too much driving to do on the big island and we know our kids well enough. If we can give them the internet, <laughs> they won't complain. And we'll get to each destination for Chelsea's better. Inhaler? Yeah, I forgot I put it in here. I just barely got it. I got it with her and I tucked it away since someone didn't steal it. So I obviously did a good job. Go to the appointment. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to remember my hiding places. So we made it in time. We checked in on the app as we drove down here. So we're sitting here waiting now to be able to go in. Did not get the hotspot from Verizon. Jason was super ornery at the store. And you can fight me on that later, Jason, because you were and you know it. It's fine, I'm giving you a pass because you're sick. You're still ornery here at home, so I'm gonna be careful. Stay away from you. I'm not ornery. You are. No, I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. So don't eat my blueberries. You guys, look how big these blueberries are. Having a little snack. They're massive. They're so big, but everyone keeps stealing my blueberries, but Quick thought for dinner tonight. I'm gonna throw together some, uh, lasagna. Jason, can you come help me? Yeah. I got it finished wrapping presents in the other room. I have my meat from the freezer. Remember how I made all that ground meat? So it's all like crumbly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my red sauce. Yeah. And I have noodles that do not need to be um, pre-boiled. They just go right into the pan and then they cook with it. I have another bottle of sauce that's already open. So I think I can put together a lasagna really fast and get it in the oven so that it can cook here in about an hour, hour or so. 
So, and I need to use this up because I haven't been, for whatever reason, I haven't been eating my cottage cheese. So, I am going to quickly make this. Our busy, our night is really busy tomorrow night. We will not be able to make anything tomorrow night. Not that I really do, but it's gonna be really busy and I'd rather have a dinner ready for whoever is at home. They can just use this as leftovers. I'm gonna make a nice big, you know, nine by 13 pan of lasagna. So we have leftovers tomorrow night as well. So I think I have all my ingredients. Jason, can you go get me the cheese from the other fridge? Jace? Can you go get me the cheese from the other fridge? The mozzarella cheese? No, I'm grumpy, I can't do that. <laughs> all right, ignore the math conversation in the background. Jason's with at Chelsea. So I've got my meat sauce, super easy. I'm letting it sit here at room temperature because there's still some chunks that are kind of frozen. I want it to be really, really fine. See, and they're still kind of lumpy. So I'm gonna let that sit here for a second while I kind of get this mixed up with my egg and I need some Parmesan cheese. This is gonna be the fastest lasagna I've ever made. Probably gonna use the rest of this. So now I need like a bowl because I'm not gonna use all of that because I will still use it for lunch. We're gonna mix up. No normal people will use ricotta cheese, but we have always used cottage. So I've got my pan. This is gonna go together so fast. I don't know what shot he's getting. We're just gonna do our layers. I'm getting a shot of you, and then we'll go down here and get shot this. Of me. And this is the quickest lasagna I've ever made. I'm just gonna get a little layer on the bottom. Not much. I just like, don't really even want meat down there. Just want some sauce. And then again, these are no bake noodles. What makes them no bake? What does that mean? They're pre whatever. So you don't have to like pre like boil them. You just have to like. And then we start layering those are chunky meats. What's this? This is our cottage cheese, egg, and Parmesan cheese. Then there's the next layer, and then you do it all over again. So Jason's like, hey, do we need to put cheese down? <laughs> so yeah, we do need to put cheese down. So he's gonna put the camera down so we can put the cheese down. Let's put the cheese in there. Yeah, I, okay, now we can lay the <laughs> noodles down. Where's my other ones? My little bits at the end. Now we can do the sauce. All my sauce is like moved to that end now. Okay. Okay. Last layer of cheese. Is that good? Yeah. We just need to put foil on it. We actually got quite a few layers in there. So that's gonna make a lot of good lasagna. We'll be able to have smaller little sections because it was built up so much. So we're gonna hurry and put that in, I think. We got home at 4.30 or so. So that was 30 minutes, start to finish. That's pretty good, I think. I'll even medium on it. Oh my goodness, don't be a dork. That's how the Brits say it. I know, but we're not British. <laughs> Everyone has it. How you doing with that? How you doing with that? It's all aluminium. It's tough. I want to show what Ashley's doing. She just loves these relaxing things, don't you? And then there's dad. <laughs> and then there's dad. I'm trying to get this. Purple. She's got slime from grandpa. But you can see the bottom all the beads. Oh, you're right. They've yeah. been settling. Help. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and then you can what are you trying to do? I'm trying to put on my sock instead of falling forward. <laughs> I know. I love he needs, I've been yeah. <laughs> but she's just kind of relaxing, and she has like all of her tools, and she cuts it and slices it and rolls it. She's kind of ignoring me because she's got her earpieces on and she's watching her little show right here. Yeah. There's a difference. Play with it. Yep. All right. Bye, stay Joe. in touch. Okay. Have fun, kiddo. Okay. We just pulled out our lasagna, letting it rest for a little bit. But look at that. And it's so heavy. There's so much lasagna in there. It's chuck full. So we're gonna let that sit, and then we're gonna have dinner. Meanwhile, all the wrapping is done. I've got to figure out, well, that just needs to get displayed the other direction. I ran out of like paper right there at the very end, but I've got all of them done. Chelsea only has three to open on her little pre-birthday. And then I've got some other ones wrapped up here. I just picked up an extra gift bag and wrapped you. I still have some more presents to wrap for her for her actual birthday day, but everything else is prepped for the other two girls and the group gift. So this is good, but I also have to decorate. <laughs> So I'm not out of the woods yet. And I'm not going full board like we did last year. Um, I've always wondered why I didn't create a birthday playlist. So I might try and do that and link it below because then you can kind of go back. Look how I decorate for their birthdays. I can't do that this year. I'm gonna do the most for Ashley's birthday, very minimal for Kaylee's birthday because she just doesn't want a ton done and I don't have time. <laughs> And then Chelsea will get a little bit more once we get home because I'll have a little bit more time to work on that. But I do like being prepared. I am going to edit this video while we let that lasagna sit and then might be done with our day because I'm tired. 
I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so I guess my sister is gonna tell you guys about her engagement. I know this video might be a little long. Maybe we won't leave this Stay. in, but. I was like, I miss being in the ocean. Let's go back out in the ocean. He was like, okay, let's go snorkeling. And I was like, yeah, let's do. So we went snorkeling and we were just, just snorkeling around looking at stuff. And he said, I need my fish identification book. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Even though we were only, we'd only seen like two little tiny fish. He ran back to the condo and he comes running back and i was just i just had my snorkel on and i was just looking around and i had a handful of seashells this left hand was full of like seashells <laughs> and coral and just like cool stuff that i'd found on the bottom of the ocean he comes up right next to me and he puts underneath the water he puts this underwater photo out photos and he told me afterwards he was like I was gonna put underwater sea creature identification book. And he was like, I just couldn't do it. It was a lie and I knew it was a lie and I couldn't put that on the cover because I knew that's not what it was. And this is so funny because Josh is one of the most impeccably honest people I've ever met. He doesn't exaggerate, he doesn't lie, he doesn't embellish. And at this book underneath the water, he's like, here, let's flip through this. Here's the first page. This first page is like the first time we texted and it just says like, basically like, well, hello, I got your number from Rachel. She says, you're the queen of gut health. He's like, what are you doing this fine Saturday? So I have to let this Marco Polo kind of go through because some of this information that my sister is sharing about her, um, I don't know if she wanted me to share this with you guys. She heard me say that I wanted like, you know, that I was telling you guys that she was engaged, but some of the information that she's sharing is too personal. It's too much of her 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 story and his story to share with you guys so i'm letting the marco polo go if you know anything about marco polo you can't fast forward <laughs> just like let it play out but maybe i will wait till the end where he like actually proposed and hear her kind of her story i hope she's okay sharing this again i'm not giving some of the personal details of their like dating story because that's their story it's just a cute story maybe i will preface with the ending in how the last page of this little flip book that he made. I, I don't I didn't really explain that. He made this little flip book knowing he was going to propose with it um, to take underwater. They went to Mexico to go diving, scuba diving and snorkeling. So he knew that they would be in the water a lot and that's how he could propose. The last little bit of this that I'll show you here at the end, Jason and I and him and, and aunt, my sister Andy had gone on a double date last year and prob we probably filmed part, part of it. We went up to our, our campus, Utah State University. University where Jason and I met. We were just walking around and went over to the A, which is just iconic little platform there at school. And there was a rock on the A and Andy ran over to it. And all of a sudden we all realized that's going to be a marriage proposal. And her boyfriend turns to me and he, and to Jason, he's like, I'm, I'm not proposing. <laughs> And Andy goes to this rock and it said, turn me over and marry me on the other side. And he was like, that's not from me. He was like whispering to Jason and I, and he's like, that's not from me. <laughs> we were like, oh no, what are we going to do? And she laughed. She's like, ah, just kidding. I know it's not for, you know, we're, I'm not ready to get married. It's fine. We've already talked. I know it's not from him. He wouldn't do this. So now I can show you the last little clip from this little booklet that he made. And I really hope my sister isn't mad for me sharing this, but I'm just so excited for her. And you can see how cute and happy and excited she is to be getting married. They both are in their like second set of their life. Like they all have kids and they've kind of done that whole like part of their life. So it's exciting that they get to do a new chapter together. Let me show you. Okay, here's the part where she talks about the rock. I thought it was really funny. Okay, so I get to the bouquet one and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's gonna ask me right now. Cause this has been an ongoing joke between us because I found out after that I was supposed to be in the bouquet catching because I've already been married. It's only for people who haven't been married and I didn't know that and I was so embarrassed after. <sighs> so anyway, and then I get to this one and I knew exactly what this was. That was the rock on the A that we found when we went there and we went over to it and we turned it over and it said, will you marry me? And I was like, did you put this here? And he was like, I swear I didn't put that there. <laughs> and I was like, are you asking me marry you right now? And he was like, no. And this was like a year ago. He was like, no, no, I promise. It wasn't me. And he was like, I'm so sorry. I'm not quite ready yet and I was like okay okay but then we pretended like we were getting engaged and he like got on his knee and he was like joking around and we got on the A we like had this big kiss and then we just put the rock back and took a few pictures and so he had this picture so then I started I mean I was already kind of crying but I really started crying and I had to take my mask off 
She's under the water looking at this. And remember, she's snorkeling. They went back down, and and then it was this one. Oh, look at cute. And then he asked me if I'd marry him, and I said yeah. Isn't she cute? That is how he did it. It was super sweet. And then he took pictures with the GoPro of the whole event. But our GoPro, we had two of them. He bought two GoPros for this trip for our girls to use. And they took so many amazing photos and videos. And then the GoPros were not in our luggage when we landed not in sad. Houston. So they were in our checked bags between Cozumel and Houston. And somebody took them. And we didn't have the pictures anywhere else. That's so sad. So we lost all the pictures that the girls took. And I'm super sad. But that's how we did it. And then we kissed um, a big wave came and like got us both in the face and so we were both like <coughs> like choking on salt water laughing and crying and it was super cute hey guys hey here we are i don't know if this will come through in any real time but <laughs> we're just enjoying mexico there's there's something shining really bright into the camera <laughs> Anyway, we're having a good time. See, isn't that such a cute story? Like, I absolutely love it. Let me turn the light on. I love it. Like, their engagement story is so, so, so cute. And uh, I'm just very happy for her. And hopefully she she's gonna let me know here in a second if she's mad that I shared it on the channel. She's Marco. Oh, yeah, she, let's see. And the funny thing is that he didn't really fib. He didn't. Oh. <laughs> So she talked about him, her her fiance, not being a liar. Like he's very honest, and he's like trying to. I, I told her I was like, well, you need to let him know that he fibbed on um, lying that he hadn't asked our dad for permission to marry her because he did. He lied to me. He said, oh, I have to wait until I ask your her dad, your dad, to marry her, and he had already done that. He did that like a month ago, <laughs> and then he also fibbed that he wasn't going to propose in Mexico, which was a lie. But he's he's probably like, well, I hadn't, I had not like you know proposed in Mexico. So that's not a lie it had not occurred yet <laughs> so anyway let me see if well it doesn't matter you're gonna get the story anyway because I'm excited for her and you're gonna go with us to the wedding anyway so I'm gonna sign off with you guys the girls are out there watching turning red which I think with Jason he's probably just laying down but they're gonna watch that for their screen time tonight I'm gonna sign off it's been a long day probably a really long video and I'm sorry but wanted to include my little sisters little sister she's literally like five years younger than me she's she's not little I just wanted to share her story with you guys and find happiness and be excited for people and you know it's it's I'm just so excited for her and you guys send your well wishes down in the comment her and I will forward them to her uh she's been through a lot she's been through a lot and she deserves this so 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 much um but anyway take care you guys I'm still like responding to your messages about this Hawaii video you can see it oh you get, can't really see it on my screen I'm non-stop responding to your messages today it's <laughs> incredible the response that we've gotten about Hawaii and how every one of you has found our channel through Hawaii or Costco hauls or there was another one I think just random but uh it all revolves around Hawaii and that's never a bad thing it's never a bad thing so stick around if you're new and you ha are coming to this channel new we are headed to the big island so soon I'm not gonna tell you when I'm just gonna make you keep coming back every day until you start seeing a packing video then you're gonna know oh, okay ready to go we're ready to go stay tuned We'll see you guys soon.